So this is the overall classification of proteins based on the chemical nature. Uh, so you see here simple proteins, uh, conjugated proteins and derived proteins. So simple uh, proteins again classified into two types globular and scleral proteins. Globular proteins examples albumins, globulins, glutulins, prolamines, histones, globines and protamines. When you are talking about scleral proteins collagen, elastin and keratins. Okay. And conjugated proteins nuclear proteins glycoprotein with the name okay they are in conjugation okay uh, simple proteins are like they are all protein in nature but in conjugated apart from protein they do have some non-protein part okay that's why protein part and non-protein part so that makes the conjugated protein okay nuclear proteins glycoproteins lipoproteins phosphoproteins chromoproteins metalloproteins okay and derived proteins third one is again like primary uh, derived proteins and secondary derived proteins okay coagulated proteins and metaproteins secondary proteoses peptones that means these are the degradative product of part uh, particular protein digested okay particular protein digested so we'll see one by one simple protein okay first we have seen classical uh, functional classification now second we are seeing chemical uh, nature okay and then solubility right so simple proteins globular proteins so these are the spherical or oval in shape that means globular proteins how they are in shape they are spherical or oval in shape and they are easily soluble in water okay or other solvents okay or digestible albumins example i have given they are soluble in water and coagulated by heat okay example serum albumin ova albumin present in milk lactalbumin in milk globulins they are insoluble in pure water okay but soluble in diluted salt solutions and they can be coagulated by heat and they are also precipitated by half saturation by using ammonia sulfate and by full saturation with sodium chloride okay glutulins they are plant proteins okay insoluble in water and neutral salt solutions and soluble in dilute acids they are rich in glutamic acid these are the longer molecules and they can be coagulated by heat okay and examples glutulin of wheat orizinin in rice okay prolamines they are soluble uh, in uh, 70 to 80 percent of alcohol and but insoluble in pure water they are rich in prolin but lack in lysine okay examples gliadin and wheat okay gliadin okay that present in wheat and zine in maize okay histones so when you're talking about histones these are the basic pro proteins which are rich of arginine and histidine okay and they are having alkaline isoelectric ph they are soluble in water and dilute acids and but insoluble in ammonia so these prolamines what they do they conjugate with the proteins along with the nucleic acids that's what like uh, nucleohistones okay or chromosomal nuclear proteins and coming to the globins they are generally considered along with the histones globins are not basic proteins and are not precipitated by ammonium hydroxide okay protamines they are also soluble in water uh, as well as dilute acids and alkalis and but not coagulated by heat so they contain large number of arginine lysine residues and are strongly basics okay which are in found in association with nucleic acids prolamines protamines okay histones so all these are like nuclear proteins scleral proteins are uh, albuminoids that means these are fibrous proteins with great stability and very low solubility and form supporting structure of animals okay collagen elastin keratin like hair okay bone cartilage okay okay uh, collagen in muscles so all is like having low solubility and they have supportive structure okay collagens are connective tissue proteins lacking tryptophan okay collagen is acting as a connective tissue okay in and which is lacking which amino acid they are lacking tryptophan elastins these proteins are found in elastic uh, tissue such as tendons and arteries that means any extendable okay extendable joints their elastins we do work okay and keratins these are present in exoskeletal structure like hair nails okay horns okay human hair has got high content of cysteine okay conjugated proteins that's what i was mentioning they are combination of proteins with non-protein part okay that means prosthetic okay called prosthetic group protein okay and non-protein right so there are several categories 
okay the type of non protein part these proteins attached okay so glycoprotein so the name itself indicating glyco is standing for the term carbohydrate okay and glycoproteins are the proteins which are having carbohydrate moiety as a prosthetic group okay and mucoprotein is also used okay if the carbohydrate content is 4% okay as like more than 4% and blood group antigens and many serum proteins are glycoproteins okay blood group antigens and many serum proteins which are glycoprotein in nature lipoproteins so with the name itself you can make out proteins are in combination with lipids okay uh, the proteins are loosely combined with the lipid component okay they occur in blood and cell membranes serum lipoproteins such as hdl ldl vldl chylomicron so all are comes under lipoproteins okay and nucleoproteins that means uh the proteins which are in association with nucleic acids okay histones okay the proteins which are in association with nucleic acids they are histones the dna carries negative charge which combines with positively charged proteins that are histones chromoproteins the name suggests chromo means color that means these proteins are colored okay so what is the color of the blood color of the blood is red because of what the blood appears red because of hemoglobin okay and this hemoglobin do have some coloring chromo uh, coloring substance okay so that's why the um, what it present hemoglobin okay iron okay because of that the blood is red in color okay hemoproteins all hemoproteins are chromoproteins which carry heme as a prosthetic group hemoglobin respiratory pro uh, protein found in rbcs cytochromes they are the mitochondrial enzymes of respiratory chain like electron transport chain catalase that means this enzyme decomposes uh, hydrogen peroxide to water and oxygen okay and others flavoproteins is a cellular oxidation reaction in electron transport chain we do require uh, flavoproteins and in the b complex vitamins like uh, what is that b complex vitamin uh, b2 okay there we do require uh, this flavoproteins that means riboflavin okay and this flavoproteins are yellow in color okay and visual uh, purpose we do require carotenoid pigment okay so for visual purpose we do require carotenoid pigment which is protein in nature phosphoproteins they are in combination with phosphorus that means casein okay uh, the milk is rich of phosphorus okay the casein and uh, vitamin of egg yolk which are rich of phosphate group and the phosphoric acid which is esterified to the hydroxyl group of serine and threonine residues of proteins okay and metalloproteins if the proteins are attached with the metals okay they contain metal ion as a prosthetic group okay several enzymes like uh, uh, ferritin carbonic anhydrase or like ceruloplasmin they require metals for their activity so we are all aware all enzymes are protein in nature carbonic anhydrase require zinc ceruloplasmin require copper okay so like this different metals require as cofactor for activity of particular enzyme and derived proteins derived proteins are of two types primary derived proteins and secondary derived proteins okay primary derived protein when protein undergo denaturation okay the formed products will be primary derived proteins so they are like denatured or coagulated or first hydrolyzed products of proteins second uh, secondary derived proteins they are degraded okay due to breakdown of peptide bonds that means amino acids you can consider okay or peptones so primary derived proteins proteins are there meta proteins are there so these are the earliest product of protein hydrolysis by enzymes or alkalis or acids okay so examples uh, myosin from myosin edistan from elastin and meta proteins these are the second stage products of protein hydrolysis by treatment with stronger acids or alkalis okay acid and alkali meta proteins coagulated proteins so what do you say about coagulated proteins these are the denatured proteins produced by agents such as heat okay acids alkalis so cooked proteins coagulated albumin egg white best example for coagulated proteins secondary derived proteins they are the degraded products of proteins okay proteoses or albumoses okay peptones okay peptones are there peptides are there okay and now coming to the biologically important peptides right dipeptide Uh, in previous videos we have already discussed okay how this uh, peptides will be formed one amino acid combined to the other amino acid by peptide linkage okay so and the naming of the peptide also we have learned right so the naming of the peptide is based on number of amino acids but not on number of peptide linkage right so dipeptide consists two 
amino acids tripeptide consists three amino acids okay and all the peptides are water soluble and they are not coagulated by heat so this is a characteristic feature of peptides and if you hydrolyze the peptide this is further simplified into amino acids so you see here first protein protein will be uh, degraded to protein and protein to meta protein and to protease peptone peptides finally to individual amino acids so this is sequential degradation of protein into amino acid 